trying to worry with it. I'm in my kitchen and I'm gonna start having videos under what's called kitchen talk because that's where I feel a whole lot more. I don't know. That's why I get my energy to open up a bit more. So I'm sure y'all saw my last video. Oh my god. So compared to my last video and what y'all see right here, that's crazy, right? What y'all see right here is crazy, right? So I'm about to make me some. Ovaltine, either this is Ovaltine or what's the other one I bought? Ovaltine and some other chocolate milk. What is that? Ovaltine and let me see. Uh, Milo. Milo. The Milo. <laughs> Y'all from the West Indies? Who's from the West Indies? West Indies. So my family originated from Jamaica. Jamaica, Jamdon. Jamdon, Jamaica. And from Rockford, Jamaica, and Rima. Uh, yes, I have dread in my family. I have dread. I have bubble dread. I have all of that. Dread like massive. So they moved from Jamaica to Costa Rica. Costa Rica y Panama. Dun, 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 dun. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. So I am mixed. No, I'm not a mutt. I'm just, don't think you're going to speak Spanish and I don't understand what you're saying. I understand every word. <laughs> I mean, I speak Spanish, but me comprenda. Okay? Vamanos. <laughs> Make my tea. <laughs> yeah, so I do understand. So, like I said, I know y'all saw my videos, and y'all probably be like, Miss Collins, what is going on with this apartment situation with you? If you're not happy someplace, then you're not going to want to do nothing for that place. And I'm not being unappreciative. I'm really not. It's just that I was hindered. From the videos that I've seen on the, the TikTok things, based upon that, when NYCHA shows me an apartment or showed me an apartment, me and my attorneys and my family member who was a retired city official and so forth and so on. When they show us apartment and they're like, keep an open mind. Is that what they meant? Be open minded to know that you could do what you want to do. You could just knock down the walls and, 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 and do all that. Because you should have said that. You should have just said that. You should have just said. <laughs> so when you're saying. Keep an open mind. What do you mean? I'm going from apartment to apartment with lawyers, with attorney, with the, with attorneys. They're coming in like entourages. I'm like, ear NYC staff. Do I sound frustrated? Yes. Because my situation, the door could have been closed before it, it, it was even open. That's why I'm upset. If I would have known that I could have did a little upgrade, renter friendly upgrade, then I would have. I would have. So, um, yeah, that's what got me pissed off because respiratory damaged, skin damage, too much. I don't want to go into it, but it's just too much. And when it comes down to me and my boys, I'm not playing. I raised two boys by myself. I'm not playing. <laughs> okay? I'm built for it. I did it. I've done that. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. So, um, yeah, I'm going to make my hot chocolate, my milo, my Ovaltine, whatever one it is. It don't matter. <sighs> yeah, so... <laughs> My videos, just a little disclaimer in case anyone who's new to my channel, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for visiting my channel. Um, please don't judge me unless you've really seen enough of my videos, <laughs> okay, because they're not the ones that would be judgmental. They were one, my videos consist of real-time situations where me and my son should not have went through any of that. You know, and you most of the most of the people who's been watching my videos, they know about 
my youngest son, but they don't know what I went through with my younger, with my oldest, my firstborn. Because when I moved out of my parents' house and I moved into NYCHA, um, I moved in with my youngest son. He was five. So you could only imagine what I went through with him. Okay, I didn't know anything about videoing, videoing or anything like that with my youngest son. I keep saying my youngest son, my oldest son. He's in the military. So, um, I didn't know. Some of my vid some of my pictures you will see in some of my videos, you will see his picture in the background. But, I didn't know anything. And he was a preemie. My oldest son was a preemie. So, you can only imagine the trauma that was inflicted upon me and him back then. And no one would listen to me. No one was, no one was just, I was like, please. My son was born as a preemie. He's, you know what I'm talking about. You a mother, you live, you know what I'm talking about. So, um, I'm going to do a lot. Now, let's just get one thing clear. My channel was not created based off of a whole night situation. That's not the purpose of this channel. This channel, if you, if you look at the first videos, it was all about makeup. It was up. It was about makeup. It's about my giveaways, my I choose use giveaways. Nobody had to song and dance and jump up in the air and 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 blow balloons and all that. <laughs> It just was a matter of me communicating with people and then me just feeling like I just want to give something to you. I just want to show you my gratitude. I just want to extend my gratitude and show it to you. Like, hey, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? And I just give you stuff. That's what it was about. Came to a screeching halt when all of this sickness and corrosion and mold and mildew and decay started to attack my little one. I said, wait, wait, hold up, hold on. Hold up. <laughs> this ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. My little baby in the hospital four months getting sick. Why? Take him to the doctor. He got all his shots. Got the proper milk for him. What's going on? I changed up his milk from my milk to Simrac to Prosobi. Prosobi is seven dollars a can. <laughs> I had to pay that out of pocket, which means I had to grind just to make sure my baby get fed. And then I had to do the wick thing. I had to do the wick thing. And I could not accept their milk because my son couldn't drink that milk. So they had to do some type of they had to figure out a way to make sure my baby eat. So, you probably said, well, where was his dad? He was Rolling Stone. <laughs> okay. Wherever he laid his hat was in home. Okay, that was my fault. My bad. Oh, my gosh. Now, when some of you guys see me with my cane or without my cane, when I have my cane, that's when I get the knee injection. I'm, a, I'm all over the place, right? Yes, I was injured at work. I was injured at work. So are you still? I am still with the Postal Service. However, I'm on workers' comp, and I can't go back until my doctors give me clearance. Because they're talking about another knee surgery, a knee surgery to my right knee. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. So what I do is before I go to my doctor's appointment, I take painkillers. <laughs> I rub my knee down with that icy blue. I go in there and I'm like, hey. <laughs> I cannot deal with any more anesthesia in my body. I cannot deal with any more needles in me. I cannot deal with any more drawing in my blood. I can't because... Can't do that. So anyway, I want to get back to doing what I was doing when I first started my channel. And if I can't do it on this channel, I'm going to create another channel. 
And that channel is going to be solely about the positive and not this negative. And even if it, even if I have to show a positive regarding this on that new channel, then I'm going to do that. Because this channel right here is saturated with a whole bunch of sadness. Sadness, depression, anger, frustration, the pain. I cannot. <laughs> okay? Uh-uh. Any type of craziness, shenanigans, hoodwinks, and bamboozle comes on this page. <laughs> All the goodies, the good stuff, and, and the fun, and the <laughs> goes on the other page. There. Bam. So what's with that whole thing with Jeff? Yeah, my knee. When I walk with my cane, that's because I have knee injections. When I'm getting in and out of my, my Uber cars or whatever, I'm going to doctor's appointments. I'm going to dental appointments. I'm going to physical therapy. <laughs> I hate physical therapy. I'm going to get more knee injection, gel injections. That's what I'm going to go and get more medicine. I just got a bag of medicine just the other day. Let me show you. It's medication. More medicine. So if you see me walking a little strong. It, the medicine is good until it wears off. When that sucker wears off. Double surgery in my knee. My left ankle has surgery. My right ankle has surgery. When that painkiller wears off. Oh my God. I just want to lay down on the floor wherever I'm at. <clears throat> yeah. So. Thankfully, I got some good people in my corner. Some of my family members, some of my co-workers, they come, they get me, they're like, let's go. Let's get out of here. We're going here, we're going there, we're going to whatever. Um, if I don't hang out with them, I go, you know, around where my physical therapy is. They got Burlington. I'm, I'm going to make a video and show y'all. They got Burlington's. They got TJ Maxx up the block. They got Target up there, up upstairs for my physical therapy. They got Primark next. It's just horrible. I'm like, y'all supposed to be all around this area with physical therapy people. <sighs> so after physical therapy, I have to scooch on over to Burlington or I scooch on over to Target or I go upstairs to wherever in TJ Maxx and Primark. And then I get myself. <laughs> ah. Oh, then my doctor's visits. Oh my God, they got Walgreens, they got Marshalls over there, they got another Burlington's over there. It's like, they got Ikea a couple of blocks up. I got a lot of stores. <sighs> Ain't it dark in here? It's dark, isn't it? This is all the light I got. I got no sugar in that. Oh my God. Anyway, guys. Yeah, I want to do something different. I want to stay connected with you guys. I want to stay. I just want to continue doing things positive. I want to continue doing things on a positive note because this negativity is just not good. It's not good for anyone. It's not good. And it. And you guys are probably saying, why don't you move? Why don't you move? Why don't you move? You do know this is New York, right? You have been on NYC Housing Connect. And that's a whole nother video. That's not a lottery. <laughs> that is not a lottery. They select who they want. No, that's not true. Bebe. If I make a video showing you something, you're going to be like, because you know I tell it like it is, right? I tell it like it is. You're going to be like, you got to be kidding me. Because I did show you a video of me doing a walkthrough with one of those apartments for NYC Housing Connect. 
did. And then you saw, I made a video showing, um, explaining how things went when I was getting ready to hand them the money and they was getting ready to hand me the key. And I was like, eh. <laughs> hold on, hold up, hold up. Okay, so. Affordable housing, NYC Housing Connect, when the starting annual income is 103000 or 89000 79000 that's not affordable housing for low income or extremely low income. Read it, NYC. So why don't you move out of New York? That's hard because everybody's moving out of New York. Everybody's moving out of New York. So apartments is like gone. As quick as you look at it, it's gone. It's called owning at this point for me. Owning property. Trying to own property. I'm not talking about a house or whatever. I'm talking about land. I'm not looking for a house. I'm looking for land. I want I want a land. Acres. Land. Where I can cultivate. I can put a tiny house on it if I want to. Um, it can go to my, my boys, if anything. They can put whatever they want on it. Land. My land that, that belongs to me as far as eyes can see. <laughs> my land that's what i want i could put a cob house a house made out of mud if i want that's what i want i don't want no mm -mm. i want you to go do the code go fund me for what no i want i want land you got land that you can give me you got a piece of property that you can give to me where i can put a tiny house and just probably pay property tax for you not probably but will pay property tax to you because at least i can say i'm paying for your property but this is my house. And I can do what I want and how I want. And I can open up my windows and let the sun shine in. I can let the birds come chirping in and sit on my windsill. My windsill. My windows, windowsill. Yes, that would make me happy. I don't have any problems from you. You don't got any problems from me. We are harmony. That would make me happy. <sighs> so with that being said, guys. Kitchen talk. The mess. Why don't you try and do something? I try, but then I stop. I try, but then I get frustrated. I get sad. I get depressed. And then I stop. I just stop. And I know I'm not the only one that feels this way. I'm more than certain I am not the only one that feels this way. Look at my face. My face looked tired. Don't I look tired? If I put on a little makeup and this and that, I look like a rare sunshine. Yes, I do. Because I've already seen it. I went down to Macy's, which is across the street from physical therapy. Downtown Brooklyn. <laughs> and they did a makeover on me. And I was like, is that how I could look? They were like, yes, ma'am, you're tired. You look very exhausted. Your skin is really nice. You have good skin. Your complexion is really nice. No, but they're like, you're, you're tired. They say your hair is pretty because I have mixed hair. My hair is mixed with my hair. I got Latino hair. I get it from my puppy. So, I feel like you're just tired. So, they give me, you know, skin serum, skin serum, and all facial serum, and all that kind of stuff. But that don't work. As long as I'm tired, I'm tired. But anyway, that's my story. That's my truth. That's what I got. They're like, how oh, Jacob? Jacob is, Jacob is good. He's studying in his college. Because I don't want him. You, you, When you're done, I want you to get in a, get your own house. Get your own land, your own property. You know, you're probably thinking, what about my oldest son? My oldest son, he's in Arizona. He's stationed in Arizona. He is um, doing his own thing with his wife. You know, they're... No, he's not stationed. He just got deployed to another location. Yeah, he moved from there and moved to another location. I forget where it is. 
But they move around. You know military move around. Anyway, he's doing his own thing. I don't like to impose upon my boys. I don't. They do their own thing. So with that being said, guys, stay positive. Stay prayerful. You got to pray. I don't care if you pray on your knees. I don't care if you pray sitting down. I don't care if you lay prostrate on the floor. I don't care if, whether you pray in the spirit or you pray snots running out your nose and spit running out your mouth. Pray. Pray and stay. So with that being said, stay positive, stay focused. Stay on your grind. Stay alert. Stay healthy. Listen to your body. Stay healthy. Stay focused. But most of all, guys, stay blessed. <laughs>